Hey everybody, Cody Men's here with a little preview slash mini review, I guess teaser for the upcoming tier 9 German either reward or premium tank, the Tiger Mouse. Now, this tank is nearing basically the, I guess, testing phases, you know, final touches to where um, coming with the 1.22 update this is going to be in a game file so most likely we're going to see this sometime between you know the fall 2023 here going into 2024 whether it's a battle pass tank tier 9 holiday ops tank or even a tier 9 uh, waffentrager uh, mode uh, reward tank now i think chances are we're probably going to see this in a loot box um at some point or, you know, essentially being sold, because this tank is really freaking good, to be completely honest. Um, right now, it's slated to be a premium tank, uh, just because it does earn more credits, can earn bonds at tier 9. Uh, but a little bit about the tank, like, is this thing going to be worth getting? Uh, most likely, you know, I think it might receive some tweaks before it gets released, only because as we kind of go over the stats here, this thing's going to be really, really good. Um, for lack of better words. Um, now, before I get into kind of the, the stats of this thing in the comparison tool, the Tiger Mouse's armor. Now, this tank being a super heavy tank, you know, is it actually good? Um, I'm just going to put 300 millimeters here, you know, for the armor and do an AP round. The armor actually holds up pretty, pretty well um, compared to, say, like the Malshin, uh, which struggles a little bit. Now, this Ar Armor Viewer mod isn't exactly 100% perfect, but in any event, you know, this thing, it's got pretty decent armor, um, you know, 254 millimeters, you know, say, effective here, upper glacis, a little over 300. Theoretically, you're not really going to see this um, engine deck unless you're really close shooting into it. But the turret's actually pretty strong, too, 300 millimeters front. It does have a cupola weak spot. Um, now... The downside of this tank compared to, say, like, uh, compared to a Malshin or even um, tier higher, the Mouse, is this tank, more or less, you don't want to angle too, too much. You can get away with some angling. Um, however, as you see here, you can get some angling on it, but your sides are a lot weaker. Um, they're essentially a little bit thinner than the Malshins, and also, especially if you're comparing it against the tier higher, the Mouse. So that goes for both the turret side and also the side of the tank. So you do have a pretty significant advantage, I feel like, over, you know, say your tier 9 counterparts, you know, for German super heavies. Um, even looking at like the type 4 heavy tank too for Japan. But you do have that weakness to where your, your side armor isn't as good, you know, as, you know, the tank you know, a lot of people are going to compare this to being the mouse. Um, but overall, the armor, I would say, is very good to where, you know, people are either going to have to hit you with premium rounds, essentially right in the flat pit of the turret, or your lower glacis, um, unless they're a tank destroyer, which, you know, they can have a pretty good shot. But you do have a cupola weak spot people can kind of um, beat you up on. Now, as far as, like, the historical reference of this tank, uh, so this says it's a super heavy tank, 120 ton tank project developed uh, September to December in 1942. The vehicle was supposed to have a turret from the um, PZ KPFW mouse, while the transmi transmission compartment cooling system and other modules were to be adopted from the VK 4502H. Uh, the tank was designated essentially the name Tiger Mouse, and the project was canceled, but later continued through the development of the E100. So this is something where I don't know exactly how true that is. I'm sure some of you guys that know a little bit more will actually tell me in the YouTube comments. But more or less, this is a tank I feel like a lot of people have been wanting throughout the years. I've heard the name come up a lot to where I feel like Wargaming is definitely going to capitalize on this because it's something that with their focus being on the EU server right now, this is something people are going to gobble up and spend money on if they can get it. <laughs> so Wargaming, I feel like we'll find some way, and that's where I feel like one of their loot box events with the Waffentrager or Holiday Ops is probably going to be the likely um, way they release it. I really hope they don't release it like 
they did last year um, with the rental slash permanent, you know, um, object, whatever the hell that tank was, tier 9, the Russian one. Um, really hope they don't do that because I feel like that'll piss a lot of people off. Um, anyway, getting into the comparison list here. So I threw the Tiger Mouse, Maushin, VK 4502B in there. Um, this tank, essentially the gun is the same as these two, except for you magically have 40 damage higher. So great. Um, you know, essentially your penetration is the same. Shell velocities, I believe, are all the same, at least for the premium round, they're the same. So you've got higher alpha. Great. That's actually pretty useful. You know, you don't have to expose yourself as much to get, you know, as much damage off. And it helps with essentially three shotting, you know, uh, what tier eight tanks and tier eight tanks. You could three shot, I guess. Um, in any event though, gun traverse speeds, actually pretty decent. Gun depression, negative seven, worse than the Malshin, but better than the VK 4502B. Um, the main thing to look here, it is pretty accurate, just like these tanks. So even though you have the higher alpha and you still have really good penetration, you still actually have pretty good um, DPM on this. Um, DPM and dispersion, excuse me there. Um, so that's where, even though this isn't like mind-blowingly different gun-wise, it's kind of surprising just looking at the gun here first. You're essentially better alpha-wise. You lose a little bit of gun depression against the Malshin, but you do have more than the VK. But you have better DPM and just as good accuracy. So, so far, things are in a favor in Tiger Mouse. Hit points. So, big thing with the hit points here. Now, the Malshin... Looking at here, I don't have any equipment or anything on here. VK, same goes with that. Basically configuring it stock and the Tiger Mouse is stock essentially too. The Mousin does have a massive hit point pool since the thing, you know, gets beat up so much because its armor has some holes in it. So that's the one thing you are kind of lacking here isn't that you don't have that like super duper heavy, you know, HP uh, pool, but you are the same as the VK 4502B, which isn't too bad for a tier nine heavy. Um, but you don't have that extra little cushion uh, that the Malshin has, you know, that w would definitely make this tank absolutely broken if it had that. Armor wise, this has, I feel like the best front armor scheme, albeit there is something to be said about the VK 4502B that, um, kind of just peeking at its armor real fast. Uh, this tank is a little bit nice, which a little bit nice. I feel like the lower glacis on the VK definitely trolls some more people. Um, just because while it's similar to the Tiger Mouse, a lot of people will end up shooting it. You can get it essentially better if you angle the VK 4502B. So this tank will beat out the Tiger Mouse. I feel like side scraping and stuff. Now, getting back into the Tiger Mouse, you know, versus these tanks, one thing that's shocking is the mobility. So, Malshin has a much stronger engine um, than the Tiger Mouse. Tiger Mouse has a stronger engine than the VK. Specific powers aren't too different, you know, um, but the, the one big thing that stands out is this actually has the highest top speed. And reverse speed. Not by much, but a pretty significant amount over the tier 9 Malshin. Not so much the VK. Um, traverse speed, pretty freaking good too. Like almost, you know, 30 compared to the Malshin. It's really slow and even the VK. And this thing has pretty good V range. Has no camo whatsoever though. So statistically, like right now, this tank's almost like a, the perfect super heavy, you know, tier 9. Um, where... Performance-wise, it, it actually, to me, looks a little too good, in my opinion, because, like, Tier 7s could be able to freaking touch this thing. Um, especially, like, when you combine a little bit of the mobility with the gun and the armor. Um, tier 8s are going to massively struggle against this, unless you're shooting premium or you're TD with good pen. Tier 9s, this thing's going to perform pretty well. Um, and, yeah, like, Tier 10s, your armor definitely will show a, a bit of weakness, you know, against tier 10, especially if people shoot premium, like your armor becomes really weak, especially against heat. But overall right now, unless they change the stats, this tank looks like it's probably going to be one of Wargaming's, I feel like, highlights when it comes to 
when they offer this, it's going to definitely be in a money-making capacity. <laughs> More so than kind of offering it, you know, as like a reward, you know, to kind of lure people into playing an event or something. So whether we see it for, you know, basically earlier in 2023 or early 2024, I feel like we're going to see this at some point in the future. Is this overpowered? I don't, I don't think it's going to be overpowered only because like so many super heavies honestly struggle where this is going to be very strong at tier nine, whereas a lot of tier nine super heavies, I feel like struggle a lot. This one isn't, it feels like this one's going to perform pretty darn good statistically. Um, and you know, unfortunately it, it is, uh, I feel like a little too strong against lower tiers, but that seems says a little bit too much about, um, the power difference between those in any event though, hopefully you enjoyed having a little sneak peek of this tank and I guess we'll see when it comes out. Um, you know, I guess to a game soon here. Um, and you know, if you come across one of these things, throw heat at it or run away. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Have a good one. See you in the next video sometime soon.